Hey, what's up guys, Zukon here, and today I'm going to be going over the changes that are going to be coming to the Retribution Paladin in patch 7.1. So I'm mainly going to focus on PvP, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the PvE as well. Uh, I'll make another video when the patch actually comes out uh, to see how the um, abilities uh, actually work in PvP as well, so uh, I'll go straight into the patch notes for you now guys. So uh, here are the um, PTR patch notes. Now. These patch notes aren't actually the official World of Warcraft patch notes. Some of the sentences might seem a little bit dodgy because the data uh, from the patch note is actually data mined. So you might get a little bit confused of the changes. Uh, they're not 100% set in stone yet, but I just want to go over uh, what we know so far. So I will make another video when patch 7.1 actually comes out and these changes have actually been implemented to the Rep Paladin. So uh, we can actually get the finalised changes and what they feel like for PvP. So basically what it says here about Holy Wrath is that it's getting a nerf. I don't know if the PvP side of it is getting nerfed. The 200% part is the PvE. Uh, that's getting nerfed down to 120%, but in PvP it's 50% of our maximum health. It hasn't been mentioned, so I don't think that that's getting nerfed in PvP. Don't take my word for it, but I'm pretty sure that it won't get nerfed in PvP, which is a good thing. So hopefully we get another update on the patch note, or when the patch comes out, uh, we'll see that. So hopefully we won't get nerfed in PvP with our Holy Wrath, so let's just pray for that. Uh, but it is definitely getting a nerf in PvE because it did deal a stupid number and rats were just diving in like kamikaze bombers everywhere So it's not a big deal that that's getting nerfed in PvE. I'm not that bothered about it If it does get nerfed in PvP, I'll be a little bit pissed, but I don't think it will do so let's just hope for that And now Blade of Wrath is getting a redesign uh, I don't know what hap it's what's happening to the numbers. I don't think they're getting changed. But what's ha happening to it is that it has a passive, and our auto attacks have a chance to reset the cooldown. Right now, it's on about a 10 second cooldown. Uh, we haven't got any percentage numbers telling us how often the proc might come up. So, as I said again, in the next video that I'm going to make, or not the next video, but the next video about the changes, uh, I'll actually show how often it might proc, so we get a decent idea of uh, the change. So what it will grant us is more holy power generation, which is really good. We get more Templars Verdicts, and uh, it works well uh, also because we'll actually do more damage because we'll get more Blade of Justice coming up. So it's a pretty exciting change, and I hope it does work pretty well. Now Crusade, uh, which is one of our Avenging Wrath talents, is actually getting a change as well. Um, it hasn't seen much love at all. Uh, in the recent uh, Legion launch, uh, Crusade's been quite weak in PvP because it does take a while to stack up and you know, CC affects you and things like that. But what's happening now with Crusade is that when you pop your wings, your judgement will get a, a buff while your wings are active. And basically what it will do is that your cooldown of your judgement will get reduced by 75%, which is really strong. And it will also generate one holy power, which is really good because you'll be able to generate holy power at a range. We have no abilities that can do that, so that's going to be really interesting. Um, it's going to be very similar to how the old judgment worked uh, back in Walled Draenor and Miss of Pandaria. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, hopefully, it'll work out pretty well. Uh, and it also looks like it still has the um, 15 stacks by 3%. Uh, I don't know if they're changing it with the holy power or not, I think it'll be the same, but uh, the judgment's definitely getting changed uh, to a little bit of a OP judgment, which is really good. Uh, also, you know, since it's got a 75% reduced cooldown, we're able to keep that 30% uh, or whatever it is, a percentage of your mastery, uh, or have like a 100% uptime in your burst, which looks pretty strong, so uh, hopefully Crusade might see a little comeback in patch 7.1. So that's pretty much it for the changes, guys. They're not 100% set in stone, and they, you know, they're a little bit unclarified because it is the PTS patch notes. So I will definitely make another video once the official patch notes come out uh, and the patch 7.1 is live, so we can actually see the changes for ourselves and how they feel in PvP uh, and what it will do to the Rep Paladin. So hopefully it'll be positive, guys. So uh, 
if this guys uh if this video gave you a little bit of a idea what's gonna be changing with the rep pile then and it helped you out a little bit then um please leave a thumbs up and if you want to see my upcoming rep pile guide which i'll do uh once the pvp season comes out or, or when i reach like on level 50 i might do it when i reach before that actually I, i'm not sure but we'll see what happens but if you don't want to miss my rep pile in pvp guide make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, and you'll be able to see it so yeah guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video